गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट कलराज गुंड हेलो स्टैंडर्ड टेन सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर लेसन नंबर थ्री हैंडलिंग इमेजेस इन एच टी एम एल इंट्रोडक्शन इट इज सेट ए पिक्चर इज बेटर देन थाउजेंड वर्ड्स पिक्चर्स और इमेज अट्रैक्ट मेजोरिटी ऑफ पर्सन एंड कन्वी एंड एन इम्पोर्टेंट मैसेज टू ऑडियंस इफ ए वेब पेज शोज ए पिक्चर द यूजर विल इमिजिएटली पे एशन टू इट इमेज आर एडेड टू वेब पेज यूजिंग द इमेज टैग इन एच टी एम एल देर आर अदर वेज टू इंक्लूड एन इमेज ए वेब पेज The image element does not case a line break; hence, it is known as an inline element. Student, it means images are very important to beautiful as well as to many complex components in simple way on your web page. If you will write a any document. but you will insert any image in your document so your document looks like very like very much and convey an important message to audience you can insert any image in your web page by using image tag the image tag is an empty tag which means that attributes and it has no closing tag an inline image element does not start on a new line and it only takes up as much width as necessary second is the src attribute the src attribute provides information about location on of the page image the location he, here refers to the source of the image it tells the browser where to find the image many times we use url as an image location the image file specified should have a proper image format such as bmp gif tiff or jpg consider a scanner where you are suffering the internet and like an image when tags like p or h1 are used which content the tags just have to display the content in a particular style while using the image tag we need not have to provide any content but the source of image with some attributes that is the image tag is called empty tag when an html document a browser the browser needs retrieve image the image must be available to local computer or server src attribute the image src attribute is used to specify the url of the source image it contains single value url which specify the link of source image now student what is url url is are known as web address standardized naming conversion for addressing document accessible over the internet the full form of the url is universal resource locker when we you uh, we use p or h1 tag these tags 
just have display the content in a particular style when p tag used in document it can display with paragraph in browser and h1 tag used in document it can display with heading p tag define a paragraph browser automatically add a single blank line before a after each p element and h1 tag are used to define heading it is good practice to create a separate folder directory for image this approach is better especially when the website is large and use multiply image the dotted line will not be display in the web page as they are embedded within comment tag as browser will accept only valid html statement we cannot directly enter a dotted line we have to embed the line within the browser will get all given source one by one and display them in the order in which they are mentioned in the html code user generally see a page display along with all its image next the alter attributes the alter attribute along with an image tag describe the source image it is always advisable to define this attribute as describe the image the software such as screen reader and search engine the interpretation of image becomes easy the alter attribute is the html used in html document to specify alternative text that is to be re rendered when the element to which it is applied cannot be rendered rendered the alternative attribute provides at alternative information for an image if the image cannot be display the alter attributes provide alternative information for an image next the height and width attributes the height and width attributes specify the values of height and width of the image the height attributes how to, uh, how tall the image should appear on the page values of both widths and heights uh, height attributes can be specified using the number of pixel it is not compulsory to use both the widths and the heights arguments together by providing additional information about the height and widths of an image to the browser presentation and loading of the image in browser become smooth and efficient the browser known the amount of space to be allocated to the image it is to be noted that your image should not be greater than your screen however it is possible to accommodated larger image into an html code the height attribute specify the height of the element in pixel these properties do not include padding borders or margin it set the height and width of the area inside the padding border and margin of the element the align attribute the align attribute is used to align the given image within the page 
or any element that contains the image the purpose of the html align attribute it is to specify the alignment of data is data usage of align attributes for any other html elements is deprecated when we use align attribute our image set on top middle left right and bottom in browser the border attribute border attribute an image on a web page can be highlights with a border by default image do not have border to create a border attribute was created specify the width of the border in pixel some browser highlights image when link is given to the image that is when an image is used as link it is highlight with a border border attribute border can be applied to most html elements to make a border around an element all you need is border border style the id attribute with the help of the id attribute you can specify an identifier for the image later the image can be referred by the identifier in a script written in a programming language such as java the id attribute specifies a unique id for an html document sorry element the value of the id attribute must be unique within the html document this attribute is used to point to a specific style